So I'm saying right here that a torque is a measure of the force that causes an object to rotate about its axis. It is the force that causes angular acceleration. I'll be showing us uh, equations that connect work to a torque and power to a torque. Okay. Now for power for work, the equation that connects work and torque is giving us work is equal to the force times the radius times the angular displacement. I hope we all can remember uh, these uh, angular displacement from our class on dynamics. So F times R is equal to a torque. A torque T is equal to the force times the radius. And please note that a, a torque is, is just like a moment, all right? All right, it has to do with uh, uh, an object rotating about its axis. All right, so a torque is equal to force times what? The radius. So therefore, I can take off my FR. It becomes work equal to T, which is torque times what? Theta. So here is an equation for work involving a torque t is the torque while theta is the angular displacement in radians so theta is the angular displacement and it's measured in radians My T is the torque. All right. And my torque is measured in Newton meters. Okay. So this is an equation that connects work to torque. All right. I will show us a next equation that relates uh, work to talk. Now, if you recall, in our previous uh, uh, slides or videos, I was saying that uh, network is equal to a change in kinetic energy. Also, we are told that work is equal to change in rotational energy work is equal to change in rotational energy from this we can derive a formula which goes as my work is also equal to change in rotational energy oh, sorry it's equal to rotational kinetic energy okay so this can be written as half i Omega squared final minus half times I Omega squared initial or squared. So we can use this formula to solve for work involving rotational kinetic energy. The I here, the I stands for moment of inertia. 
why the w stands for my angular speed so my i is the moment of inertia And my W is my angular velocity. All right. So these are the equations that we can use to solve for work involving a torque all right so please take note of these two equations all right so let's look at an equation that connects power to torque now if you remember or recall we said that power is equal to work done over time that's correct and also we said that uh, as it relates to torque work is equal to the torque times angular displacement good so I can replace work with this equation so therefore I can say that power is equal to torque times angular displacement over time now if you look at this equation you will realize that angular displacement over time is equal to my angular velocity angular velocity so therefore, I can say that power is equal to the torque, which is T, times my angular velocity. So here is an equation we use to solve for power involving a torque. And please remember that uh, angular velocity is also equal to 2 pi n. 2 pi n all right where n is the number of revolutions per seconds so we can use this formula to solve for power as it relates to torque question it says if a torque of 25 newton meter is needed to keep a wheel moving at a constant speed of 15 radians per second now my torque is given which is t is giving us 25 newton meters i'm giving my angular speed omega is giving us 15 rads per seconds we are asked to calculate the power my p is unknown and also the amount of work performed by the torque in 1.5 minutes i'm giving my time my time is 1.5 minutes and please i have to convert my time to seconds to convert to seconds i will multiply by by 60 so 1.5 times 60 that will give us 90 90 seconds all right so step one we are asked to find the power so i know that power is equal to 
the torque times the angular speed. So therefore, I can say that power is equal to the torque times the angular speed. What next? I log in my data. My torque is 25. Becomes the torque is 25 times what? My angular speed is what? Is 15. All right? 15. So times 15. So therefore, my power should be what? 375 watts. 375 watts what so that is for my power now to get the amount of work performed by the torque in 1.5 minutes i can use the formula which is power equal to work over time now my power is given us as a uh, 375 watts my time is given us 90 so i can i can transpose so therefore my my work is equal to power times time okay now my power is 375 times my time is 90 okay that gives us 33750 joules. Alright, if you don't mind, you can put this in kilojoules. It becomes 33.75 three kilojoules. So that is our final answer. Okay, so I'm giving a force of 100 newton meter. So this is my torque. So the torque is 100 newton meters. It says it makes 55 rotations. That is my angular displacement. So theta is 55 rotations rotations now if you remember i said that angular displacement is in radians so i have to convert this to radians i will multiply 55 by 2 pi so to convert to radians we multiply by 2 pi that gives us 345.6 radians. 0.6 radians. Okay, cool. What next? I'm giving my time in 7.5 seconds. So my time is given as 7.5 seconds. Okay. Question one, determine the work done by the torque. So, the work done is equal to T or the torque times my angular displacement. So what next, I log in my data. My torque is 100 times my angular displacement is 345.6 and that gives us 345.60 joules 345.60 joules so that is my answer for the work done by the torque now to get the power of the torque during the time period of 7.5 seconds we know that power is equal to work done by the torque over time and my 
my work done is three four five six zero joules divide by my time is 7.5 now when you put this in your calculator you should get 4608 joules per second 4608 joules per second or 4608 watts so that is the final answer In this question, we are given the mass of the disc. Remember, it's a solid disc. It's 50 kilogram. We are given the radius R is 0 0.6 meters. Look at this. It accelerates from rest to 15 rads per second. That is my angular speed. And that should be my final angular speed. So I can write it as omega subscript F equal to 15 watts per second. It accelerates from rest. That means that my omega 1, omega 1 should be 0 watts per seconds so when we see rads per seconds it's talking about angular speed question okay in seven seconds so my time is seven seconds we are asked to find the work done on the disk and the average power exerted on the disk so to find the work done I can use the formula which is equal to half i omega squared final minus half moment of inertia omega i squared okay so the first thing we do here is to find the moment of inertia for a solid disk which is is i for a solid disk is equal to so if you don't mind we'll look at our table here is my table for a disk look at it here for a disk the inertia is half mr squared so we have to remember these tables for different objects and their axis for a disk the moment of inertia is half mr squared so therefore i can write is half m r squared the m is the mass and the r is the radius so i can find my inertia which is half times my mass is 50 times my radius is 0 0.6 all squared so when we put this in our calculator so that gives us 9 kilogram meters squared so now i have known my my inertia what next i logged it into my formula so therefore my work is equal to half times my inertia which is 9 times my final omega velocity which is 15 15 or squared minus half times 
my inertia is 9 times my inertia angular speed is, is 0. So, is 0. That means that everything here is what? Is 0. So, I'm left with this alone. So, therefore, the amount of work done on the disk is half times 9 times 15 squared is 2 to 5. So, when we put this into our calculators, we got 1012.5. Five joules. So that is the work done on the disk. From this, I can find my power. To find the power, we use the formula. So I can say power is equal to work done over time. And my work done is 1012.5, so I can write 1012.5 divide by time. My time is 7 seconds. So our final answer is power is equal to 144 watts so that is our final answer so you can see that we can also use moment of inertia to solve a question that involves uh, torque so here is our final answer